Damn it, Rex. You've got to maybe do it. Hey guys, it's Han. And as you can see on the table today, we have the Tamiya TTO2 FT Landfeeder Quad Track. Now, when this vehicle was first announced and released by Tamiya, um, uh, I wasn't too impressed, honestly. I, the only part of it that I honestly really liked was the Landfeeder body because I like the look of this body. Um, it's actually part, it was actually originally a Bush Devil body and also comes in the Bush Devil 2 and of course the regular CC01 Landfreeder. But seeing that as a Landfreeder, I initially thought that's going to be a CC01, but no, they decided to do it on a TTO2 on road chassis for some reason. Uh, so that was a strike, stri uh, strike one right there. Um, and two, it had tracks, which tracks are unique and cool, but I'm just not a huge fan of track vehicles. Um, if it's not going to be like a tank or something, um, they just, they just tend to be a little bit unreliable just because of the many moving mechanical parts and all that. Um, and then being a Tamiya kit, I knew it was going to be all plastic and I, I wasn't really sure how long the tracks would actually last. So I don't know. And then the, it also didn't come with oil filled chocks or anything. So. It just seemed like a weird release from them. And then to uh, solidify my feelings about it, it cost over $300 on Tower Hobbies, which means MSRP of it is like 400, 500 bucks, something stupid and ridiculous. So I was like, this is a stupid release. No one's gonna buy this. Why did they even bother? Um, and uh, yeah, I just wrote it off. I was like, I'm never buying that. It's stupid. But then, uh, good old friend on YouTube by the name of Rex. Uh, he has a RC. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called uh, Rex's RCs, I believe. And um, he bought uh, Land Freeder. He also initially thought that it was kind of a dumb release, but he ended up picking one up and just built it and was having a lot of fun with it. And I saw his video. I, I saw when he uploaded his videos, and I, I would watch them. And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's 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 pretty neat that someone's trying it out." Um, but I was like, "I'm still never gonna buy it." But then the more he more videos he released of it, the more I was kind of getting tempted. I was like, "Okay, maybe it's a little bit cool. Um, maybe there's some aspects of it that that would be kind of cool." So, um, and then eventually I decided to reach out and ask him, "Hey, how do you like the land reader after all these months?" And he made a full video. <laughs> directly addressed to me um, about his feelings about the land feeder and after that more land feeder videos keep coming out and then I just break down and I had to pick one up. Um, I actually wanted to buy the T the new uh, TD4 um, Super Astute but when I was when this went in my cart and I pressed buy that was actually out of stock and of course the day after they come back in stock so could have gotten that but I got this instead. But I think this is going to be a good build anyway for this time of year because it is winter right now, December. Um, and the TV4 I have to paint and I can't really paint in the winter, it's too cold. And this comes with a pre-painted body. So, But anyway, it's a lot of talking um, and <laughs> I was just kidding in the beginning, Rex. Uh, thanks for making all that videos and kind of opening my eyes to this. Uh, so yeah. Um, it was a lot of money, but I had a lot of Tower Hobbies points racked up, so I didn't. I only paid like two hundred fifty bucks for it, which still is a lot of money, but um, not the what three sixty or something stupid that they're asking for it. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing opened up and kind of take a look at it. The front box art, like the photograph in the front, doesn't look bad. It looks pretty cool. Um, I am, I do really like the the box art, like sticker, like graphics of it. It looks pretty neat, I think. Um, though the color scheme kind of reminds me of Jimmy John's. Uh, and if you don't know what Jimmy John's is, it's kind of like a Midwestern uh, sandwich shop. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the nice, nice little art uh, depicting it on snow, which we'll have again soon here. Uh, showing off the chassis here, so you can pause and look at that if you would like. Some more information about the tracks. You can see that. Over here, just that. And then over here, there's some of the hop-ups you can get. They're just the typical TTO2 hop-ups. Um, and then over here, just the panel again. But opening this up. And 
we are presented with, I'm going to put this over here actually. I love when Tamiya does this and does like the dividers and all that. I think it's a pretty cool and nice touch. Um, so, I'm going to go pretty quickly over this. Uh, this is actually the on-road style TTO2 chassis, not the, like the TTO2B like I recently showed. Um, so it's going to come with the on-road arms and all that. On-road like bumper mounts and stuff, which also I thought was kind of dumb. I don't know why they wouldn't just put the buggy bumper on it. That would make it look a little bit more finished, but I don't know. To me, it does some weird, strange stuff sometimes. But anyway, this is suspension arms uh, and all that. Bumper, shock towers and uh, hubs and hexes and all that over this way. And then the, oops, the body parts, the roll bar. Um, it looks like you can put LEDs in this, maybe. Um, that would be pretty cool. Uh, oh, and never mind, you can't. But yeah, nice chrome chrome parts. To me, it makes pretty cool chrome parts. The main chassis here, which is a typical TTO2 chassis. Um, looks like the wheel for the tracks. So These are track parts. More track parts. The same 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 part. Another one, and another one. So you get four of these. Um, and then, I'm running out of room on my desk. We get the drive cups and stuff, and they, they did end up using those like base model TTO2 drive cups, which the chassis itself, essentially is like a $100, $100 chassis. Like this is the base model TTO2, it's not anything special. The mo most of the cost, I think, is going to the pre-painted body and the track system itself, um, as well as this new like dust cover. I think this, should be included in every single TTO2, um, at least um, any like decent performance ones or anything like that, but, or even just available separately as a body set or something. Cause I would like every one of my TTO2s that's not a buggy to have this because that, that'd be so useful. People don't really, really realize how much dust and grime that on-road cars pick up until they drive one. Um, even, even if it's a clean pavement surface, you don't realize how dusty that stuff is. Like. Uh, yeah, but you got lots of pins. Kind of looks like someone's ready for some acupuncture or something. And all, all the metal parts in here. I'm gonna open this bag a little bit just to pull out something kind of cool. Um, they do include a motor in this, like usual, but the motor they include is a little bit special. It is their 35 turn CR like cra like crawler tuned motor. And it looks like it's like a rebuildable motor or something like that, not their usual like a sealed in bell, closed in bell style. Um, so that's super cool. Uh, this motor by itself, I think, is like 40, 50 bucks. So it's pretty cool that to me has included this motor in here. Um, and honestly, I don't think this motor is going to stay in this, this uh, truck for very long because I might be throwing it in my uh, uh, CRO one which I think is a little bit more appropriate for that motor. Black antenna tube, I love it. I love the black antenna tube. And then over here, we got the pre pad body, which looks nice. This is not actually the same as the black edition body, I think, or maybe it is, because the black edition body was actually a um, matte finish body. And this seems like it's gonna be gloss. Well, that's pre that's, that's pre trimmed and everything. That's nice. But yeah, this is a gloss body, so it's not the same body as the black edition because the black edition was actually matte finish. Um, so a little bit different, but yeah, that's a nice body. Um, for anyone that's wondering, it is the short wheelbase of the CCO two, uh, CCO one or, or CCO two. Uh, but I like that body. It looks pretty cool. I I really like the one that I built back in the day. But I I was getting I was playing out of room, so I ended up selling it. And I had like I don't know how many CCO ones. I had probably like five or six CCO ones, and I I didn't really see a need for that many. But yeah, uh, more track parts. So that's interesting. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, the actual tracks itself. So this is probably gonna take the longest to to build, because um, the TTO two chassis itself is not very hard to build. Uh, it's pretty simple chassis, so more standard parts, but I think the tracks itself is probably going to take longer than the entire chassis, so that's going to be fun. 
here we have the Landfreeder TTO2 FT specific um, instruction manual, so that's kind of cool. The warranty sheet or whatever. The stickers, so not pre-cut or anything, but nice little decal sheet right there. This also gives another cool option for all the Landfreeder bodies because, uh, like I said, there's the Bush Devil decal sheet, there's the Bush Devil 2, there's the regular CCO one land freeder, the black edition land freeder, and now this one. So a lot of choices there. And the final piece of documentation they include here is this little yellow sheet. Um, it's in multiple languages, but basically it's just telling you how, like, what to look out for when you are um, using the track system because this is to me as first track vehicle. That's not a tank. Um, they want you to know how to properly care for that stuff. So. Um, pretty cool that they included included this in there. Um, yeah, basically like make sure you don't like make sure you like dry it off and stuff so stuff doesn't rust and all that kind of standard RC maintenance stuff. But yeah, that's all that's in here. Um, and I'm gonna slowly start. Oh wait, there's also an ESC included. I almost forgot about that. The ESC that's included, I bet you is going to be a TBLE 04S speed control. Because that is what Tamiya is including in all their stuff now. Unfortunately for me. Yep, it's a TBLE 04 speed control. Uh, from what I've seen, some of the even newer kits that uh, Tamiya is releasing, like the, the Subaru and the Toyota like the BRZ, GT86, and stuff like that. It seems like they're starting to include Hobbywing ESCs. I don't know if that's a US thing, but that seems pretty cool because I usually replace a lot of these with Hobbywings. Um, but I do use the Tamiya ones a lot also. But yeah, just the regular TBLE04. Um, seems like a pretty decent speed control so far. Uh, it's not as pretty as the old one, but you know, it's it works. And it's nice that it's included. So I'm gonna start slowly putting stuff back. And, uh, actually I'm gonna just do that off camera. I'll just put the lid back on real quick. Um, but yeah, it, I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting build. Um, I have, I have, I have actually a lot of kits to build right now. Um, uh, but I'll probably start out with this one. My main reason, so uh, my, my, my main reason I got this, uh, it's kind of justified it to myself, is even if I don't, if I, even if I build it and I don't end up liking it, the TTO2 chassis can be converted to literally anything you want. So the chassis is there, so it's whatever. Um, I also have a kind of a secondary project I'm thinking about with it. Um, and then it was confirmed that these tracks fit on various other Tamiya vehicles, like the GFO1, uh, like TTO, uh, like T, no, the CCO1, CCO2, a lot of other trucks. So I think this would be kind of cool on, I don't know, the new like CCO2 Unimog maybe. So have like a track Unimog. Um, that, that would be kind of cool. So I could I could use the track for something else. I could use the chassis for something else. The body, there's tons of Tamiya cars that use this body. So I could use the body for something else. So even if I don't end up liking it, it comes with a lot of cool parts that I do like separately. Um, so it will come in handy later on anyway, so kind of justified it that way. But nevertheless, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And um, again, thank you to Rex for kind of showing me around the quad track and uh, financially ruining me. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys next time.